guys and welcome to episode one of a hopefully good new series for the channel um, which is the game is don't starve um, which is a kind of minecraft style game um, but it's more survival based and um, definitely more difficult um, and I believe it's if I haven't played it much um, to be honest but I believe if you die you don't come back um, I've only played one playthrough and when I died it was game over but I believe there might be ways to circumvent that um, but you have to they're like late game kind of stuff so it's not something you can just easily get around but anyway let's get started new game start I have played the game a little bit. Um, I only did one playthrough um, just to test it out and get the basics down. Um, so I don't know really much about late game, but I do know what to do basically at the beginning. Um, the main point of the series is. Um, just to have fun and see how far we can get. Um, this is definitely my type of game. Um, if you haven't kind of figured it out by the other uh, series on my channel, um, I like to play games that are very um, realism focused and survival focused. So this is right up my alley. And it's, it's a bit creepy too, which helps. It adds a a little, not really horror factor, but because it's not that scary, but I mean, it can be intense, and that's good to see in a game. Pretty much just trying to gather everything right now at the beginning, because I've learned that's pr pretty much your best bet to getting a good start. Um, as with Minecraft gathering supplies is just the, the right way to go. Oh, I didn't get that. Um, don't Starve, I, I have seen videos done on it before. Um, they were a while back. Um, I haven't seen anything lately, and, you know, I never saw anything that stayed as a, a series on someone's channel. Um, maybe I'm just not subscribed to the right people on YouTube, but, uh, to see that kind of thing, but, um, I definitely see it as a fun game and something that definitely has a lot to it and a lot to explore before it could ever get um, what may be considered boring, I suppose. Um, and it, it goes right along with the whole um, idea of permadeath that I really enjoy in a game. Oh, there's a, there's a gobbler. No point in messing with that, um, it'll just run away from me. But as I've heard it described, um, and it definitely fits that description, um, Don't Starve is basically like a Lovecraftian um, Minecraft, you know, it's a much creepier version of Minecraft. Um, speaking of Minecraft, I'm considering doing some Minecraft videos. Um, they wouldn't be, well, I mean, I could do some vanilla Minecraft, but I don't know how interesting that'd be. Um, or you or me, so I might just look into um, some mod packs like Attack of the Bee Team or Feed the Beast. Um, I've already done Crazy Craft with some friends, and um, while it's fun, it's it's very easy. Um, well, not easy necessarily, because there are hard bosses and such, I believe. But you can always you can get really overpowered in it. So. I'm probably not going to do crazy crap, but Minecraft in general, I am looking at. <laughs> Don't know what's making that noise. Oh, spiders. Yeah, it was that. Just some spiders. Um. Wow, I don't know really where we're gonna go. Um, let's just keep gathering supplies for now. We need to, I mean, gathering supplies is the first priority right now, but um, looking for a base is a good idea too. Let's go put 
that on. And that on. Oh, it's starting to get dark. Um, that's another thing with Don't Starve. The dark is a time you don't want to be in. Um, you, you really can't afford to be in complete darkness, so I'm going to have to set up a fire here pretty quick. Otherwise, I risk uh, dying very early. I don't know if you can actually plant seeds. I know you can eat them and then, or cook them and eat them, but I don't know if you can. I know you can grow them too. You can grow seeds, but I don't know if you can plant the seeds to make anything better than you know just seeds. I'm trying to. What would be really helpful is to find an area with uh, a lot of boulders, um, because we need um, gold to get a science machine, which gives us the the first expansion of recipes. And without it, we can't really do much besides the basics. Not finding any boulders at all, though. Otherwise, I would have made a pickaxe, but I haven't found a single one. Ooh, carrot. some bees. Let's see. Guess we'll head this direction. I'm trying to get as much food as possible because um, you do have to keep hunger up and don't starve. You also have to um, worry about your, ins your sanity, which is this meter, and then this is um, your health, which you probably guessed. Here's a little path. Oh, pick up eye bone. All right. It's looking at me. Ooh, open Chester. Hmm, does that follow me? Yeah, I think I have a chest now. I don't know if it'll stay with me. I'm worried it won't, but I guess we'll see. Get that fire going. Chop down this tree. Uh, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put some stuff in Chester just to see if he does indeed follow me and stay with me. Here, there's some petals. Have those. While we wait for night to pass, we'll cook some carrots. Get all our food ready for the next day. I do like the whole aspect of uh, not being able to just craft everything right at the beginning or no recipes. You know, you have to learn them, which I can I can appreciate for sure. Well, let's go ahead and cook these seeds too. There we go. Keep her hunger up. See, I, I just don't know. I feel like I would have to tame this uh, chest monster thing for it to stay with me. Uh, I just don't want to put anything valuable in it and then it, like, leave me. That's, that's what I'm mainly worried about. But it seems to be following pretty well. Is there a way to get it like to stay somewhere or is it just gonna follow me everywhere? Cause that that jumping noise might eventually get a little little annoying. As previously mentioned, still on the lookout for boulders and such. That's that's like our main priority, um, because you can't build a science machine without um rocks and uh, a gold nugget. You have to have a, at least one gold nugget, and you can only find gold nuggets from boulders that have um, like gold veins. 
or um, they'll just be lying on the ground in some areas, and I believe they're dropped in caverns, and I don't know, there's a lot of places you can find them, but... Ah, uh, 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 maybe fighting the frogs was not a good idea. Nope, well, got one of them now. Frog legs. Okay, there's a lot of them. Did they? Yeah, they took down my health, so. Probably don't want to waste my time um, fighting those guys. The main priority is to just search for new areas and a good place to maybe set up base. Nice little connecting area here. Lots of berries. Um, there's a lot of stuff you can craft, though. Like this whole bar will um, fill up once I have a science machine. But all I have is the wood. I still need the rocks and the gold. I'm not getting very lucky when it comes to finding any. I haven't even found like a, a basic folder, which are anywhere. Like I do need to keep some carrots, I believe, whole um, to use in traps um, to catch a rabbit. So like, I think I can actually do it already. Yeah, let's do it. Put this trap here. And then if I drop a carrot. I think that'll work. It's taking its sweet time. Gotcha. And now I have a rabbit. Although he ate all three of my carrots. Freaking little shit. I wonder if you can split them up or what, because I didn't want to use all three of them. I only needed to use one. I don't know if you can breed the rabbits, but I do know you can build cages for them. Um, so it seems like you'd be able to breed them, or at least keep them in captivity until you needed to eat them, which sounds a little messed up, but... Eh, this is a messed up area. Okay, I'm not finding much. Oh, here's something. Um, I got this in my last playthrough, actually. I don't know what it does, no idea, but... It seems important, so I'll keep it. It's getting late, I need to make a fire. Yeah, we still have quite a bit of time. Wow, this thing is just gonna follow me forever. <laughs> if I right click it. Still follows me. Ooh, mushrooms. Can't carry anymore. Alright. Eat, 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 eat. Yep, I just don't need the mushroom. So unlucky. I haven't found a single boulder. And I've been looking, not really gathering supplies, so... I mean, there's nothing really I can do with my supplies until I have the science machine. Nothing, like, good, anyway. I do like that you don't have to make a map. <laughs> Just being able to hit tab and having a... A detailed map would be is very necessary for this game. Oh, there we go. All right, um, let's go ahead and just eat these regular old seeds. Why did I just make another axe? God dang it! There we go. I wanted a pickaxe. bunch of stuff in my inventory. Um, 
You know what? I'm not gonna just eat that mushroom. I feel like this game isn't very forgiving if you just eat random stuff. It is about to be nighttime, so I guess I'll just go ahead and build a fire. Oh, I do have Chester. I don't know why I'm not using him. Take that. And take that. Take that. Yummy. Cooked frog legs. Now we're getting some good eating. One raw carrot in case we want to build a trap. We'll go ahead and put this in with Chester. And then put the tools here. Just, I guess, while we're waiting for daytime, reorganize the inventory a little bit. Keep the fire fueled so we don't have to deal with the, uh, evil things that come out at night. Yeah, this is gonna... Until we've got a, a proper base, I, I think nighttime is gonna be pretty much just preparing for the next day. Hell, even then... Whoa. See, weird noises. Weird noises are not fun. Let's go ahead and pick up that green cat. Cook it? Yeah, it's cooked, so I mean surely if I if it lets me cook it, it's not poisonous, right? We can hope. Alright, where haven't we been? Let's go this way. I haven't found a single area. Oh, whoa. Okay. An offering to the beast. What beast? Oh, maybe I shouldn't have activated that. I guess it's on my map, so... I can always come back to it, but that looks pretty creepy. As with Minecraft, the map is, um, like, randomly generated, so, I mean, you have your, your lucky starts and your bad luck starts. I mean, I haven't necessarily had anything bad happen to me, but a lack of gold is a lack of a real start until we can find it. Oh, there we go. There is an area right there. We just need to get over there. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, let's go ahead and get us some gold. Let's pretty much just mine this whole area. It's all pretty useful to have. I don't know what uh, nitre, yeah, nitre does yet, but you get it from just basic rocks. So I feel like that means it won't be anything like too badass. But at the same time, I mean, it's got to be. It, I've not had to use it for anything basic, so I don't know. Oh, pick broke. trying to get as much gold as possible because um, after the science machine uh, the next one is like an alchemy station or whatever 
um, to unlock the next set of recipes. So, pretty much need as much gold as we can get. Alright, that's probably enough for now. Let's go ahead and start setting up our home base, which we can now do. Um, what's around? Alright, this seems like a decent area. What's this over here? Not sure what that is. Right, well, we'll just set up base right here. So first, let's build a fire pit, which is like a regular fire, but you can you know, rebuild it like the um, with the regular fire, when it goes out, it's done for good, but you can always refuel this one. And then, science machine. I need logs for that, so... Let's get some logs before it gets into nighttime. Alright, we've got logs. Let's go ahead and build it. Alright, now we've got this whole toolbar over here, and um, we just have to prototype things before we can, like, fully build it. And there's a lot more now. There's magic, and see, I think this is, I guess this is how you can get yourself to be resurrected. Just need cooked meat, boards, and beard hair. Um, I guess you get that by shaving your beard. Structures are all here. Probably first priority will be to get a chest so we have some storage. I mean, we do have Chester, but I don't know about Chester. Like, is this thing just going to be following me around forever now? I mean, yeah, I can get used to it, but it's a little bit annoying at the same time. Don't know if the luxury axe is actually better or if it's really what it says and it's just for style. I imagine it would have to be better or it wouldn't be worth prototyping. Well, huh, let's go ahead and do that. Cool, got a razor. Now I can shave. <laughs> anyway, um, prototyping actually uh, raises your sanity. So as long as you're creating and growing as a you know, and surviving, your character will stay sane, but if not, you start becoming insane. Also, this um, flower helmet I put on raises my sanity um, slowly over time. Let's eat a bit, but um, I think this is where we're going to call it for the first episode. Um, starting to get our base going. Um, just going to continue this growth in the next episode. Um, you guys can let me know what you think about this series and whether it's... Um, worth keeping on the channel or if it's something you guys aren't interested in um, just I want to know what you guys want to see and what you don't so uh, all suggestions are welcome just let me know in the comment section down below but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed if you did you can show your support by leaving a like or a comment down below and if you want to see more of this series and or others on my channel I recommend subscribing see you guys next time